Okay, let's have this example. If a 75 meter flagpole casts a shadow 43 meters long, what is the angle of elevation of the sun from the tip of the shadow? So first thing that we need to do in solving this problem is for us to illustrate the problem. So first, we have the flagpole that is 75 meters long and it will cast a shadow that is 43 meters long. So we're looking for this angle over here. The one from the shadow going to the top of our flagpole. So that will be the angle of elevation that we have to solve. Now, let's solve for the missing angle. So let's locate the angle of elevation. It's located here. Then let's identify the given sides. So we're given the opposite side and the adjacent side of the angle. Then let's use Sokatoa in identifying which trigger ratio to use in solving for this angle. So since we're given the opposite side and the adjacent side, we're going to use tangent theta. So tangent theta is equivalent to opposite over adjacent. So let's substitute their value giving us tangent theta is equal to 75 over 43. Okay, so let's remove the trigger ratio for tangent by getting the inverse of tangent theta. So the inverse of tangent is arc tangent. So we have to get the arc tangent of both sides, isolating the theta symbol. Okay, theta is equivalent to arc tangent 75 over 43. Now, let's use our scientific calculator to compute for the value of our angle. So, simplifying it, that will give us the approximate value of the angle, which is 60.17 degrees. And that will be the angle of elevation of the sun from the tip of the shadow. And that will be our final answer. Ta-da! Alright. Okay, let's have this example. Stephen Grant climbs... 213 meters up the side of a pyramid and he finds the angle of depression to his starting point is 52.6 degrees. The question here is how high is he from the ground? So first thing that we need to do in solving this problem is for us to illustrate it. So first, let's draw the pyramid. This is the pyramid that he climbs. So Stephen Grant climbs 213 meters up the side of the pyramid. So this is 213 meters, okay? Then, he looked down from his starting point and creates an angle of depression that is 52.6 degrees. So, we're looking for how high is he from the ground. So let's draw a broken line and represent how high is he from the ground by placing a variable x for that side of our figure. Now, looking at our figure, we're going to form a right triangle. So, since we have a right triangle, we can use Sokatoa in solving for the missing side of this right triangle. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is let's identify the given parts of this right triangle, starting with the angle. So, the angle of depression is inside the right triangle. Therefore, no need for us to do other computation. So, our angle inside the right triangle is 52.6 degrees. Then, we're given the hypotenuse of this right triangle, which is 213 meters. And we're looking for the opposite side of the given angle, which is the how high is he from the ground. Or, let's say, the estimated height of our pyramid. So that will be our opposite side of this right triangle. Then, let's use Sokatoa in identifying our trigger ratio. So since we're given the opposite side and the hypotenuse, we're going to use sine 52.6 degrees as our trigger ratio. And sine is equivalent to opposite over hypotenuse. So let's substitute their value. That will give us sine 52.6 degrees is equal to x over 213. Then, let's isolate the variable x by multiplying both sides by 213. Isolating the variable x, this will give us 
213 times sine 52.6 degrees is equal to x. Let's use our scientific calculator and compute for 213 times sine 52.6 degrees, giving us an approximate value of x which is 169.21 meters. And that will be our final answer. He will be 169.21 meters high from the ground. Ta-da! Alright. Okay, let's have this example. The length of the shadow of a tree is 7 meters when a ray of sunlight makes an angle of 50 degrees with the horizontal. Now, find the height of the tree. So, the first thing that we need to do in solving this problem is for us to illustrate our problem. So, first, we have the tree, okay, and it will cast a shadow that is 7 meters. So, the tree shadow is 7 meters when a ray of sunlight makes an angle of 50 degrees. This will be the angle created by the tip of the shadow to the top of the tree. Then, our problem is we're looking for the height of the tree, which will be represented as the variable x. So if we're going to observe our illustration, we're going to form a right triangle. So we can use Sokatoa in solving for the value of x. So let's solve for the value of x by first identifying our given. So we're given the angle, 50 degrees, and let's identify the sides. We're given the adjacent side, and we're looking for the opposite side of this angle. So, based on our given, we can use Sokatoa in identifying which trig ratio to use. So, since we're given the opposite and the adjacent side of the angle, we're going to use tangent 50 degrees as our trig ratio. And we know that tangent is equivalent to opposite over adjacent. So, let's substitute their value, giving us tangent 50 degrees is equal to x over 7. Let's isolate the variable x by multiplying both sides by 7, giving us 7 times tangent 50 degrees is equal to x. Now, let's use our scientific calculator and compute for 7 times tangent 50 degrees. So, that will give us an approximate value of x which is 8.34 meters. And that will be the height of the tree in this problem. And that will be our final answer. Ta-da! Alright. Okay, let's have this example. When one end of a seesaw reaches the ground, the other end is 1.5 meters above the ground. If the seesaw is 4 meters long, find the angle it makes with the ground. So, in solving this problem, the first thing that we need to do is to illustrate the problem. So, first we have the seesaw. So, let's draw the seesaw. And according to the problem, when one end of the seesaw reaches the ground, okay, the other end is going to be 1.5 meters above the ground. Now, if the seesaw is 4 meters long, okay, this is the seesaw, so that will be 4 meters long, we're asked to find the angle it will make with the ground. So, the angle it will create when one end of the seesaw touches the ground. Okay, so this is what we are looking for. So looking at our illustration, we will have a right triangle. And since we have a right triangle, we can use Sokatoa in solving for the missing angle. Okay, so let's identify our angle. It's located here. Then let's identify our given side. So we're given the opposite side of the angle and we're given the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So let's use Sokatoa in identifying our trig ratio. So since we're given the opposite side and the hypotenuse, we're going to use sine theta as our trig ratio. And we know that sine is equivalent to opposite over hypotenuse. Let's substitute their value, giving us sine theta is equal to 1.5 over 
4. Let's isolate the angle by getting the inverse of sine theta. So the inverse of sine is arc sine. So we get the arc sine of both sides. So isolating the angle, that will give us the equation theta is equal to arc sine 1.5 over 4. So let's use our scientific calculator to compute for the angle. So theta is approximately equal to 22.02 degrees. And that will be our final answer. Ta-da! All right. And that is it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have comments, questions, recommendations, suggestions for my next video, please leave them in our comment section below. Share this video and subscribe. And for more videos like this, you can go to my channel, Teacher Justin. And that is it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.